Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am going to talk about pulse width modulation, duty cycle control and frequency for automotive diagnostics. You know already in modern cars as well as early EFI cars use this duty cycle control method to control many electrically operated components. If I remind you few of them, modern alternators, actuator controllers such as throttle actuator, IAC, VVT, EGR, perch valve, fuel pump and O2 sensor, heater circuit, etc. What is pulse width modulation and duty cycle in brief? Simply, pulse width modulation is a computer control method of switching between on and off continuously to provide electrical power to control an electrical component efficiently and accurately. In this animation, you can see that the same amount of voltage provided to the bulb by switching on and off continuously. That is called pulse width modulation. Simultaneously increasing and decreasing on time control the brightness of the bulb. That is duty cycle. Bulb is much brighter at 75% duty cycle than 25% duty cycle. For better understanding, let's go into a real world automotive pulse width modulation diagnosis. This is a case study on a Toyota Corolla idle air control valve actuator. I am using an oscilloscope to measure and visualize the pulse width modulation. This is a 3 pin IAC valve with 2 windings. 2 pins of them are providing ground side switch as a duty cycle control. I have back probed those 2 pins and let's see the waveform. You can see here when start the engine duty cycles are appeared on the screen. Ok I am going to record this waveform first. Do you see that glitch on the waveform when turn on AC? Next glitch is due to put into a gear. Ok, let's analyze this waveform and see what is duty cycle, pulse width and frequency. Anyway, I am using here amassing H-scope and Hantec 6074BE oscilloscope to capture this waveform. I am really impressed about H-scope built-in measuring tools. Those are very helpful for waveform analysis for diagnostics. Ok, let's analyze it. Here in this arrow indicate normal idle. This middle glitch indicate AC on and idling up. These glitches are not a fault. That is just voltage drop due to apply an electrical load by turning AC on. You can see that become normal after while. Ok, I am going to zoom in the waveform and have a closer look. Just separate these two traces for better view. Also these two traces represent two channels that I have back probed on IAC valve 2 pins which was pulse width modulated. Clearly you can see that digital on off signal relevant to the pulse width modulation. Next I am going to select the pulse width modulation measuring tool that is among 360 and 720 degrees overlay tool in the H score. Ok, here I am placing the rulers on the blue trace in one duty cycle. This falling edge to next falling edge is a complete one duty cycle. To measure the right duty cycle, we should know circuit design of the specific component we are testing. Is that power side switch or ground side switch? This specific IAC valve is ground side switch. Ok, on the blue trace, this falling edge to this falling edge is a 100% one duty cycle. In a ground side switch circuit, measure the off time to get the correct duty cycle. So, here on the blue trace, this falling edge to this rising edge is the right duty cycle. That is 80% of a duty cycle. Ok, let's measure the second channel of green trace duty cycles. For that, I put the rollers into one duty cycle on the green trace. Same way, we should measure the off time. You can see 20% of duty cycle on the green trace. In this way, you can use an oscilloscope to measure and visualize the duty cycles. 
Anyway, let's measure the duty cycles at the idle up when turn on the AC. If everything is gone fine, duty cycle should be increased to idle up. Here this glitch was appeared when turn on the AC. I just zoom in that point and measure the duty cycle there. Same way, put the rulers and measure the duty cycle. 70% of duty cycle on the blue trace. It was 80% at the normal idle. Ok, let's move to the green trace. You can see here 30% of duty cycle. But it was in 20% at the normal idle. So, definitely clear changes of the duty cycles when turn on the AC. Ok, next I am going to measure the frequency and pulse width by putting the vertical rulers. Here you can see the frequency is 356Hz and 2.8 millisecond pulse width on the blue trace. Frequency is the number of turns that this duty cycle take place in a second. Pulse width is the turn on time of a duty cycle. However, it's depend on the switching method. As I mentioned earlier, this IAC valve is ground side switch. The period of any trace going on the zero line is the pulse width on this waveform. Always you see this pulse width data regarding the fuel injector turn on time in the OBD scan data. Hope you make sense what is duty cycle, pulse width and frequency on pulse width modulation. In the automotive diagnostics, it is essential to measure duty cycles or pulse width on some diagnostic case studies. For that, you can use digital multimeter that available duty cycle or frequency measuring functions. But they are limited performance and not versatile. In that case, oscilloscope use is very handy and accurate. That helps to error visualize. So impressive. I will show you few other interesting pulse width modulation case studies solved by the oscilloscope use. This waveform took on another IAC valve. You can see the blue trace indicate good pulse width modulation signal, but green trace has defective pattern instead square wave signal. You can see how simply oscilloscope reveal the fault by visualizing it. This one was bad IAC driver on the ECM and simple call on bad ECM by checking few other things. Next, I took this waveform on throttle actuator control on drive-by-wire system. Tag drivers are also pulse width modulated control system. Tag drivers are operated in polarity switching method. So you can see the green trace pull the ground and pulse width modulation going on perfectly while blue trace stay at the battery voltage. This one was an interesting case study with intermittent throttle not responding issue. Finally was able to track the issue in the waveform. Look here what has happened to tag drivers. Bad tag drivers drive the vehicle into throttle not responding issue. This one also was called on bad ECM. Use oscilloscope to find faults in the pulse width modulated system is so helpful. You will never get this result with any other testing tool. Hope you get an idea about the pulse width modulation and its other stuff. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more videos.